School bus tragedy. A disabled teen from the Jersey Shore chokes on his way to school and dies days later. His parents say the adults on board never called for help. Now they're taking the school bus company to court. News Force Ted Greenberg has the story. I just thought everything was normal. I just said goodbye to Landon, watched him go up the lift, and that was the last time I seen him. It's been one year since Landon Goff took his last ride on a school bus. Our lives were turned upside down, and our family was left heartbroken. His parents and their lawyers say somewhere along the 40-minute trip to his special services school on December 1st, 2022, the 16-year-old who used a wheelchair choked on his own saliva and became unconscious. They say neither the bus driver nor a substitute bus aide on board alerted anyone. The 10th grader from Galloway Township died in a hospital three days later. The law requires that school bus drivers and bus aides be trained in emergency procedures. In a complaint filed this week, Jennifer Spar and Aaron Kaiser Goff are suing Shepherd Bus Service. Landon had a rare neurological and developmental disorder called Rett syndrome. His parents' attorneys call his death preventable and foreseeable. The bus driver and the aide were clearly negligently trained, and had it not been for Shepard's negligence, Landon would be with us today. The family's lawyers say there were only three other students on the bus that day. According to the lawsuit, the bus was equipped with a video and audio recording system, but it was not working. The last year, we have been left with more questions than answers. And we don't ever want another family to go through what we are going through and another child to lose their life. I reached out to Shepherd Bus Service. A supervisor directed me to the company's attorney. An email to that lawyer and phone message were not returned by our deadline. The family is seeking unspecified damages. He was on that bus for three years, never had any issues, trusted them. A heartbreaking loss and profound pain that Landon Goff's parents hope no other family will have to endure. Ted Greenberg, News 4, New York.